welcome one and all how's it going uh welcome to my channel uh welcome please comment or uh you know feel free to comment basically uh leaving it in the comments uh also feedback or any um any questions as well too relevant to the content or even to the channel itself to the content of the channel as well too um, but more often it'd be great if you could just leave some you know uh, feedback on the channel comments on the channel or on the and on the content itself of the video or any questions please it'd be great if it's related to the video itself basically um, please subscribe to my channel if you can um, it'd be great if I could get a million subscribers. That'd be great. I would love to, you know, I think everyone wants that golden play button. That'd be great if I can get that. It'd be really, you know, kind of interesting to see if I can do that. Um, I'm just going to talk about chat GPT for a second because I t opened it up early in my earlier videos about uh, Bing incorporating chat GPT. Uh, someone asked me, what's chat GPT? They didn't ask on there. They, I just got a text message. I'm like, wait, what? I'm, I might as well just create a video for that because like some people aren't aware of it. So chat GPT basically is what you consider to be a it, it it's it's it, by definition basically what chat gpt is it's a it's a program designed to simulate conversation with human users over the internet uh and it's kind of think about it this way it's kind of almost like a chat bot um in a ways uh and it's pretty impressive the way it works essentially and uh, think about it more of a case where like you might want to use this over search engines uh specifically if you want to start talking with search engines uh you know like chatbot search engines uh you know replacing search engines by just going to a chatbot and like you know on the side or something like that it you know it'd be interesting as well too uh for those that don't see the benefit of it i'll show you as a classic example right now i mean going to chat gpt chat open uh what's it called chat.openai.com that uh slash uh, chat uh, you know what? I'll just show you the camera, basically. As you see here, this is the actual um, chat GPT uh, AI, uh, um, UI from this aspect. So you can ask it almost any questions practically. Uh, I mean, sometimes, it, you know, as they say right here, it can you know limit you know come up with some incorrect information. Uh, members uses what they said in prior conversations as well too, uh, as well as corrections. Uh, Here's a clock example I'll do uh, in this situation. I mean, you'll see some examples here. My example is how do I get 1 million subscribers to my YouTube channel? As you see here, interesting. I mean, you're not going to see this from your search engine, basically. And... There, I mean, look at that. I mean, like, it's pretty impressive uh, how it's showing basically some of the things you should do. I mean, reality, you type it in Google search. Um, I mean, it comes up something we're pretty, pretty, you know, good and interesting, basically. Now, now if I were to go to, uh, you know, Google.com, how do I get one million subscribers? on YouTube channel. I mean, it, it's pretty much just reading off of someone else's website at this point, and that's it, and going from there. And then you have to scroll through some of them and figure out from that aspect. Whereas right here, it pretty much gives it to you. Um, I mean, heck, I'll do a new chat as well too. Um, uh, how do I trade in the stock market? That was another as aspect as well too. Uh, that was pretty something like that. Um, let me try a new channel, a uh, new chat here. What is the uh, forecast for next five days in New York, NYC? What's the... Oh, wow. Okay. Current weather in New York. Okay, so it doesn't have access to certain pieces of data. But, I mean, how, uh, what 
is the status of the house speaker ballot who is the current house speaker Who is the richest person in the world? Interesting, interesting, as you see there, basically. Um, but in any case, as you see, basically, um, this is pretty, pretty impressive stuff what chat GPT does, basically. And it's one of those things where I think you've got to keep it into account and not forget about it and look closely into it to see how it works basically because it's really, really impressive actually. So that's one aspect of like, you know, using chat GPT basically. I uh, now think about it, having APIs where they open up APIs to it and then you incorporate it into your product uh, works really well as well too. And now the question is, is like using that uh, as a product into your product, incorporating it using their backend servers, it might be expensive. So the real question is, is like, are it should be technically open source, but not all of it's open source. So if you can, if they do open source it eventually, you can put it onto your own servers and then basically then use that to build out your own aspect. Of, you know, you build out your own chat bot slash virtual assistant at that point too, which would be really, really impressive actually. So, I mean, th that was just what I just typed in was like small examples basically. I mean, honestly... Uh, if you're a student, you can get some more information, like versus having to go on Wikipedia and such. You can ask him more questions that you want to ask, basically, and et cetera, basically. Um, but that was a quick, very, very, very high level, very high level, quick overview of ChatGPT. There's a lot more that can be done. Uh, I just take one quick example, basically, to show you how it works, basically. Uh, eventually, I will, I'll, I'll build something that works on top of it once they open up some of the API aspects and then. I'll start utilizing it to the point where uh, on my website, basically, you know, in this case, uh, uh, you know, you'll know my website and see how that works at that point. I mean, there's not going to be a product. It's just going to be just rudimentary stuff for me, learning stuff here and there, basically. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this and what you think, you know, what you think of it, basically. If you think it's great, if you think it's not, uh, you think if it's scary having chat GBT, or do you think Google's going to come up with something better? Uh, if you have any questions about chat GPT, I'll try to answer the best of my abilities about it. Uh, well, and I'll probably even, like I said, probably create a tutorial. I mean, honestly, there are probably other tutorials out there, but I'll try to create my own tutorial as well. So that's probably more dumbed down for people basically to look at it at that point. Uh, with that, uh, in this case, it's, I, yeah, I want to say it's still unfiltered because I don't have any background stuff, virtual backgrounds or anything like that. And it's definitely unedited because it was going through, as you saw, basically, and definitely unrehearsed. So unfiltered, unedited, and unrehearsed. Until next time.